funny enough, not representing that much in DFW anymore, especially since quarantine just ended. Yeah, I think really Denti is the only uh, only PT that I can think of off the top of my head that we have here. Yeah, definitely so. And it's so uh, interesting, um, the fact that we're seeing this, you know, this Pokemon trainer live on stream, and he made one hell of a killer comeback versus Trey 5. I'm sure he wants to end what is now, you know, the guy who beat his number one guy. For sure. And, uh, you know, we're going to see um, both of them start up here. What do you think about this matchup? I don't know. This matchup feels very interesting. Greninja apparently loses no matchup, supposedly, according to the Greninja players. Pokemon But trainer? he's not top 10? He's not top 10. Apparently, he's not top 10. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. I uh, know. It's interesting to me, too. I feel like Pokemon Trainer has so many options they can go with. You know, Squirtle changes matchups. Ivysaur changes matchups. Charizard changes matchups. Well, at this point, we might not see any character change the matchup, as my man is staying deep in this event. Yeah, um, I, I think really where um, Greninja would probably get his biggest um, advantage here would be in uh, punishing PT when, when they're Charizard and Ivysaur, because uh, those those characters can kind of struggle a bit with fast, like combo-heavy characters, and Greninja is definitely one of those. Uh, is really good at low profiling, is really good at uh, kind of starting off little scramble situations. Ooh. Yeah, a little uh, great pressure from uh, Tenny right now, trying to get the edge guard. I feel like maybe uh, sticking more to the less trapping would be a good idea. Because at this point, uh, Kenny G has been kind of sneaking away from him uh, when it comes to the edge guard. Ooh. All right, sneaking a uh, little bit of <laughs> projectile right there, not able to get it. Now he's in the corner. Oh, goes down with the flame breath. Yeah. Once again, a lot of edge guarding from Kenny. I don't feel like we normally see it that much. On oh, that fair, a bit stale, not going to kill yet, but definitely in the advantageous situation here. Fourth throw? Not going to do it. Continues this ledge trap. Oh, trying his best. What a great, amazing uh, <laughs> drop down forward air. And the up throw going to kill. My goodness, Charizard's a crazy character. Wow. Charizard, low-key the best. <laughs> um, but, you know, we're going to see what he can do with the stock. Uh, 165, I think Greninja's up throw is probably going to get close to killing here. A re -grab, right? Yeah. Um, only gets a dare. Yeah, not a really a great punishment to re -grab. Oh, oh, you're should dead? have him dead here. No, you're not dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're super dead. Never mind. I <laughs> I made the incorrect call out. And back to even stock. Kenny G's doing pretty good here. Hold, definitely holding his ground. Um, I could see Squirtle being a bit uh, difficult for Greninja to fight. Uh, just ha having his, you know, kind of combo starters um, being with like down tilt or dash attack. Uh, Squirtle being a small character, really good frame data. I feel like could combat that uh, pretty well. But gonna get edge guarded in the exact same fashion he just edge guarded Tenny. <laughs> That's how it feels. That's how it feels, jerk. <laughs> I mean, definitely got the edge guard happening to him, and now <laughs> it came all the way back around. That is beautiful, beautiful karma. Well, my goodness, Kenny G, maybe looking for air dodge there, maybe set up the shadow snake. Was that able to get it? Tenny, of course, jumping out of the situation. And Tenny Squirtle putting in a lot of work here. I, I feel like this is definitely the the one of the three Pokemon that does the best into this matchup. Uh, but you know, definitely when you get to those higher percents, you got to switch off them because Squirtle dies super early. Yeah, it's better to make the safe call of just like I'm gonna go to the, like Ivy Store and outplay my opponent than you know keep trying to outplay and just die stupid early. Can you going for the edge guard? Oh, okay, going Great high. Great high recovery there. Yeah, definitely realize the situation. Oh, we're going to catch him with that up smash. And that's a pretty dominating game one from Tenny. The first stock, we're going kind of even. But after that second stock, it seemed like he just ran away of that game. So what I've noticed from Tenny, this whole entire, like, the two sets that he's had on stream anyway, uh, he's been looking for a lot of, like, defensive, like, you know, he's waiting for you to do something defensive. Like, he's waiting for you to roll. He's waiting for you to spot dodge. I think in that instance, like, he might have been waiting for him to roll. And then when he ran up and did up smash, it just ha so happened to cover the, uh, the jump that my man was doing. That was... It was an interesting play. Maybe not what I feel like Tenny really wanted there, but it ended up just playing out all into his favor. Tenny has been super interesting to watch as far as the play goes. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he's definitely probably one of the best PTs we have in Texas uh, here. So seeing him play, it's uh, definitely a breath of fresh air. I definitely agree. Like, uh, granted, it's been like almost like a year and a half since I played him, but like when I played him uh, versus like, you know, playing Sleepyhead and playing like De Dizzy, or not Dizzy, Denti, I'm sorry. Uh, he felt like he incorporated a lot of like interesting tech into the gameplay. And that's what I like seeing from players when they're like, they're really tech heavy. They're not just going completely off of fundamentals because fundamentals will get you far, but knowing some of the little bitty stuff, it helps so much. You gotta have the cheese. You gotta have the cheese. You can man. have the bread and you can have the you know the meat, but if you don't have the cheese, then my sandwich is complete. All right, so small battlefield. Uh, this is an interesting pick. I, I like to have your thoughts on it. Um, I feel like um, 
One thing that I see happen with Greninja a lot is he'll get down tilt under a platform and then the up smash won't connect on the platform. So maybe he just picked this because this is a stage where up smash connects on the platform. It may just not though, I don't know. If not, it, it's one of the smaller stages. I know Greninja's a fan of, uh, you know, like flat stages like FD. So it was probably banned as like FD Smashville, maybe. Oh yeah, uh, you you know better than I do, of course. Doesn't the top blast zone a little bit shorter? I feel like. Yes, and the top the top blast zone is, uh, I think it's the second smallest one behind PS2 on this stage. So I, I'm guessing that's another reason why he did it, because there was a point where he was just juggling the nonsense out of him. He wasn't able to get the kill, and I think Tenny stole the first stock. So, yeah, I can definitely see why he would uh, opt to pick this stage instead. Mm. Yeah, Tenny switching off Squirtle and uh, with the Ivy. I think this is where Kenny G kind of needs to focus on, uh, you know, playing playing safe, playing that uh, patient neutral until uh, Ivy Sword, you know, kind of throws out a Razor Leaf or something that you can jump in over and get in on, and then uh, extending your combo advantage from over there. Once again, I don't know if you saw there too. He's reading the roll right there. He almost got it too, but Ivy Sword's grab is not the fastest, and actually almost dying from the up smash there. That the small battlefield pick almost helped out. Oops. Oh, and parries the fairy. Back throw, and now Kenny G's off stage. Oh, almost gets the dare. Okay, fourth throw, puts it back off stage. Oh, or going for the up throw, actually. Just wants to go for the juggle. Gets the air dodge, but not able to get too much off of it, though. It's because of the um, the way he drifted it. That was really smart for Kenny G. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they're still both on the first stocks here. Kenny G could take this into his court. He gets a good hit, but that fair not going to kill. Okay, trying to get out the corner. Another but forward air, forward air. I guess I wonder what he wants. Okay, actually getting the grab there, mix up there. I like it from Kenny G. Some nice conditioning with the fairs. Oh, oh. gonna get the down air. Goodness gracious, my man definitely uh, conditioned him with that down air, man. He <laughs> he uh, he heat him up. Okay. And actually opting to stay Ivy there. Interesting. Back to Squirtle. I, yeah, I feel like this is the one where if Kenny G isn't, uh, you know, getting the reads and getting the mileage when he's at the Squirtle or the Ivysaur, I feel like it could be uh, a bit more difficult when it comes to the Zard because that one's a bit harder to kill. Tenny going deep. Yeah, I, I remember Tenny uh, putting a lot of work into a Squirtle at some point. So I feel like this is definitely one of his better characters out of the out of the three. Oh, and that's Death. It's the jab block off of the F tilt. Those are so strong. Yeah, Tenny is about to avenge uh, his fallen comrade here as he's looking to 2 0, of course, Kenny G here. Some signs of life from Kenny G. That's a great Saturn sneak. That, that is so hard to tell when that's coming. My man! He was like, all right, you, you don't have the lead. I, <laughs> I want to have the lead now. It's my turn. And right back for Kenny G. Can he get himself some momentum here? We'll see. Okay. Even stocks. I think this is going to work out more for KDG too. Uh, mostly because, like, as you brought up, uh, Charizard and the Ivysaur haven't really been doing much work. And he has to switch, like, you know, two more rotations to get back to the Squirtle. So, like, at this point, he pretty much has to stick Charizard. I, I can see Charizard not doing too bad because Greninja is a character that, you know, likes to pressure your shield to safe moves like that. He probably tried to do an out of shield option there. Uh, I know the Nair, I think, is safe enough that I don't think Charizard can really do anything about it. Uh, he might be able to up B. I'm not sure. I know it has super armor. But, ooh. Oh my god, he gave up the air dodge there. Uh, luckily, he wasn't going to die for a heat away. Charge up a big, hefty boy. All right, gets the parry, finally able to punch the Nair on shield. And I like that Kenny G kind of like, you know, I'm going to get away from the scenario real quick. This is a little bit too dangerous for me. It's a really smart play from Kenny G. Something I've seen a lot is Tenny's uh, trying to cover these uh, neutral air dodges to the ground. I think he's been, uh, he's missed a few, but I think in general, that's a pretty good uh, way to seal stocks here. So we might see that come into play, but the down tilt up smash going to take it for Kenny G. 1-1. One, one. Is this uh, best of three or best of three still? Yeah, best of three, yeah. So this is a, um, that was a really good roll read from Kenny G. And I don't know if you guys see it. I'm pretty sure you do because it's very much on the camera. But there's some lovely individuals. All the people that are, of course, in bracket or are not playing games right now are watching the stream right now to see if Kenny G can be the ATX slay. I'm sure we'll see. We'll hear some, some loud yells if he can do it. And in this game three, let's see if he can take that momentum from game two. He had a pretty good last stock there, so I think he's fi definitely figured something out. All right, going to game three, going to poke or not Pokemon, I'm sorry. <laughs> going to town and city. <laughs> you, you know, when you see a lot of Pokemon Stadium, you just kind of get in your mind a little bit. But this is a good, good thing for Tenny. Opening up with uh, Squirtle, I feel like his Squirtle has put in so much work uh, versus, you know, the Greninja here. Yeah, I, I think, you know, that this is really the kind of deciding factor uh, is, is how well your Squirtle can do. And Tenny Squirtle has definitely been doing doing great. Um, but, you know, the if, if he can do enough with Squirtle, it really just depends. Can he, you know, take that stock with Ivysaur or Zard? Because, uh, you know, we saw in the, that game he won, he definitely had a, a 
stock that he took earlier, uh, Squirtle with the water gun. But uh, when Kenny's G's kind of just playing evasive like this, it can be hard for Squirtle to, you know, get the confirms he needs. And oh, still oh makes it back. Uh, yeah, made back, good recovery there, but still in the corner though. Trying desperately to get back out of the corner. I love the fact that Kenny G's not, he's not trying to, you know, catch the neutral get up with media or anything like that or get right on the roll. He's just covering the corner and trying to make sure that he's, you know, covering his way out. For sure. Now we're seeing Kenny G definitely had a bit of an advantage here. He can steal this stock. He'll have quite the momentum going into this uh, second stock for Tenny. <laughs> He's trying to do up easy. It didn't work out for him, but gets him with the forward air. We're going to do it. Crowd in the background. You can hear him. They're excited for the boy right now. Kenny G, as I said before, might be the ATA Slayer. Oh, oh great wait from Tenny. <laughs> what a call out. We're starting here. You guys might not hear, but we're hearing a little bit of the warfare going in. The war of words is happening between ATX and DFW as Kenny G is trying to fight his way to make his boys happy. To prove that DFW is the almighty. Yeah, and that call out with that F's. Oh my god, he no. doesn't make it back and Tenny takes the lead! Tenny takes the lead right now! And he's down, but definitely not out. Greninja is a character that is capable of... Oh my god, Kenny G. Kenny G almost worked himself into, you know, an early retirement. <laughs> Oh. Oh my God. Yeah, we're going to see how, um, you know, Greninja can fight the Squirtle. Definitely uh, Tenny, you know, in the place where he can play in a lot safer game as he has a whole stock lead. Uh, Kenny G is going to have to go for some, you know, um, aggressive mix-ups here. Yeah, we're really seeing kind of Tenny not really being the one to approach at all. Now that he's been, you know, given this great lead. Yeah, for sure. And I think that's definitely where you want to be against Greninja because, uh, oh, reads the roll. I was ready for it. Yeah, once again, I feel like Tenny has been, like, you know, trying to sniff out, you know, the defensive options that you want to do. And that has been an amazing play from this far. I mean, that's what got him in lead a little bit here. Let's see if we can close it out, though. Kenny G at 69. What can he do with it? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Was looking for the air dodge in, did not, uh, was not giving it. And now has to deal with Ivysaur, and you're at kill percent, too. And Ivysaur becomes one of the most lethal characters. We're at kill percent. Gets the tech, though. Not going to happen. Oh, Gets a dare. And, and another it. dare ends it. Tenny representing for ATX and is now in winter semis, man. Winter semis, I think he's going to be against predicted Oryx, I believe. So, see how that works out.